Pokemon Mania has officially swept the world with 21 million global users, making it the most popular mobile game in history. And businesses are now catching on to the potential behind the craze. After tasking one of its employees with purchasing and dropping lures, which is a virtual Pokemon currency, this business in central London has seen its revenue soar by 26%. So when, when we opened the doors on Saturday morning, it was a complete surprise. Uh, we didn't really know the impact Pokemon would have. We knew that we had to quickly react, and for us, you know, having an extra 2,500, 3,000 people walking through the doors every week is a huge boost to the business. If they're joining us for a Pokemon Freak Shake, absolutely brilliant. But more importantly, we just want people to come in here and have fun. Pokemon Go is big business, but it's also proving a welcome boost for smaller companies eager to tap into the potential new uses of augmented reality. Customers come here to catch Pokemon, enjoy a Pokemon-inspired freak shake, and simply to meet up with like-minded users. The Lure marketing technique, which captures Pokemon characters in a particular location for 30 minutes, has already raised the number of paying customers to small businesses to a level unseen in the history of smartphone apps. For a little over five pounds, companies and retailers and whoever can buy up to four hours of lure modules. And lure modules basically attract Pokemon Go users to come to a specific geography so that they can play the game at a deeper level. Um, that's really cheap to drive an unprecedented amount of footfall. And as the online trend continues to sweep the globe, businesses are finding more ways to ride the wave. Miriam Francois, TRT World, London.